नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ एडिटोरियल टुडे लेट्स टॉक अबाउट कांग्रेस मैनिफेस्टो एंड लेट्स टॉक अबाउट व्हाट इज गुड अबाउट कांग्रेस मैनिफेस्टो व्हाट इज नॉट सो गुड अबाउट कांग्रेस मैनिफेस्टो एंड व्हाट इज गुड बट मे नॉट बी इंप्लीमेंटेबल अबाउट कांग्रेस मैनिफेस्टो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट इट लेट्स गेट राइट इन दिस शो Okay, now uh, let's talk about few of the good, good points of Congress manifesto. Certain criticisms that certain people raised about the manifesto. Let us try and talk about that also. Also, before I get into this uh, manifesto, let me tell you, I have a confession to make. I have a confession to make. I sat here and I told you that ये न्याय क्या होता है? भारत जोड़ो यात्रा had a brand name. That brand name worked. It resonated amongst people. Made sense. Then they said, "Bharat Jodo Nyay Yatra." I asked you, "Ye Nyay kya hai?" Nyay is a very general term. Is that going to resonate with people? What Nyay? And how is Congress equipped to give Nyay to people? This is what I had asked you. The fact is, what I today agree to and uh, kind of appreciate is the way the concept of Nyay. was extended to this manifesto that concept was beautifully extended so the concept of nyay made sense now but what i will still continue to say is this is a little too late little too late had this concept been made clear before the activation that is before the yatra remember the bell and the ice cream machine story that i told you the ice cream machine the ice cream uh, uh, box would have been there with the bell if you don't know what i'm talking about you please go out and i'm going to attach that link uh, where i spoke about this i'm going to attach that link please do have a look at that editorial you'll understand what is this bell and ice cream and all that i'm talking to you about so that's where it is today it will this editorial will extend too much if i get into too much of detail so i leave it at that but i think while i think nyay extension was brilliant i think it was a little too late to put this up that said the let's get into the manifesto and the first point of the manifesto is guarantee to minimum support price announced by the government every year to as recommended by the swaminathan commission swaminathan commission's recommendation to be implemented the msp uh, to be implemented fantastic idea very good very good promise and farmers will benefit out of it that's point number 1 point number 2 guarantee a new right to apprentice act to provide one year apprentice for every diploma holder and graduate below the year, age of 25 brilliant brilliant if this is implemented if this is implementable if this actually gets implemented i whatever word however we see it if this gets implemented it is brilliant why because 18% of our high school graduates are without a job 18% 29% roughly of our graduates and 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 uh, post graduates are without a job we we hear about iitians without a job this is imperative that we ensure that our diploma holders our degree holders are assured of some kind of uh, job some kind of apprentice because otherwise our children will lose the thrill of graduating they will lose the thrill of going to institutions going to study so a well thought of brilliant promise i hope uh, they can find a way to implement it if they come to power that is of course okay will immediately restore full statehood to jammu and kashmir yeah i mean that's good uh, statehood to jammu and kashmir necessary elections jammu and kashmir and necessary so that's a that's a good point will launch the urban employment program guarantee work for urban poor in reconstruction renewal of urban infrastructure एक्सेलेंट मनरेगा इन अर्बन इंडिया महात्मा गांधी नेशनल रूरल गारंटी स्कीम इन अर्बन इंडिया एक्सेलेंट पीपल विल गेट जॉब्स दैट डिजर्व जॉब बिकॉज दैट्स द ओनली वे यू कैन रिमूव पॉवर्टी बाय गिविंग फ्री रेशन यू कैंट रिमूव पॉवर्टी बाय फ्री गिविंग फ्री रेशन यू कैंट डेवलप पीपल बाय एंश्योरिंग दैट दे अर्न देर लिविंग दैट्स द ओनली वे यू कैन डेवलप द कंट्री एंड यू कैन एलिविएट पॉवर्टी सो दिस इज अ ब्रिलियंट आइडिया ओके so that's that abolish agnipath program and direct uh, 
द आर्म फोर्सेज टू रिज्यूम नॉर्मल रिक्रूटमेंट टू अचीव फुल सैंक्शन स्ट्रेंथ दिस इज वॉट Rahul Gandhi has been speaking about Rahul Gandhi says that uh, in his travel he has met a lot of youth who are were not happy with uh, the agnipat scheme so uh, so they have uh, they have promised to remove it guarantee national minimum wages of 400 per day very good if our ex checker can afford it very very good what is better is cashless insurance up to 25 lakhs will be adopted for universal health care now listen 25 lakhs fantastic brilliant our prime minister also announced 5 lakhs in madhya pradesh if you remember and there are still lot of complaints that that is actually not not happening it is people are not getting in uh, cashless uh, services hospitals are not accepting those cards hospitals are not allowing uh, people to get admitted uh, uh, without actually getting cash so this is what is said so implementation of such schemes will it be possible Now I am not the one who is going to believe or going to sit here and say that are okay BJP couldn't do it but Congress can come and do it. वो सब ठीक है. Administration is administration. उन्हें इस बीस का difference है. Whether they will admit it, whether whether they will be able to implement it is a question that I still have. I had with uh, BJP. I was kind of pro and right because a lot of people still talk about it. I have doubts with uh, this also. But the scheme per se is fantastic. Good. Will ensure. that every citizen minority has a freedom of choice of dress food language and personal law what does this say uniform civil code will not be implemented long and short is what is this this is what is it is trying to say so that's uh, another one implement one time measure of relief student education loans will be written off and the banks will be compensated by the government fantastic fantastic i will tell you why i am saying fantastic like i told you there is huge amount of educated un unemployment high school students are not getting jobs graduates uh, post graduates are not getting job iits are not getting jobs now the fact is a lot of these young students do not come from very affluent families they come from middle class lower middle class families they take education loan to 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 get into an iit to pay the iit fees though iit fees is not very very high but still 3 lakh 4 lakh rupees is quite uh, quite uh, beyond a common man's reach even today so that kind of money to pay they take uh, students loan and the fact is they have they are we are not able to provide them with a job so what do they do with that loan look at the pressure they are in at a at a tender age In the age of 23, 24, 25, look look at at the the pressure they 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 are 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 in. without without a a job, they have finished their education, they are without a job, and they've got a loan on their head. So this, I think, is a brilliant plan. It's a brilliant plan if it is implemented well. It is a brilliant plan. Let's go further. We'll bring law to recognize civil union between couples belonging to LGBTQAIA plus community. Very good. Civil laws, which means. if some some two people whatever uh, gender together that is not really not really officiating a uh, same gender marriage that is not what they i think are intending what they are saying is but the civil rights of inheritance wagere would be given to same gender uh, union same gender couples so that's what they mean uh, lgbtq i a would be very very pleased to hear this the central government's contribution to pension of senior citizens widows and persons with disabilities under the national social assistance program would be raised to 1000 rupees per month good today it is something like 300 to 400 rupees per month if i am not mistaken raised to 1000 rupees per month brilliant plan i think it is definitely worth uh, talking about next is reservation of 50% of central government job for women starting 2025 50% of central government jobs now the point is if you ask me i think it's absolutely perfect and brilliant whatever one talks about reservation a lot of people have uh, reservation about reservation i agree to that a lot of point of views also i would say i agree to but the fact remains that if 50% of this earth 50% of india is given 50% reservation galat kya hai that's uh, uh, why i think uh, 50% reservation for women in central government job is good but the problem is is it implementable 
would we get that kind of numbers uh, to come and uh, take up central government job will that actually happen or all of this is in paper it's just a fantastic scheme which is there but which is non implementable is that what is going to ultimately happen to this particular offer is what i would say but otherwise principally i think it's a good offer resolve to launch a mahalakshmi scheme to provide 1 lakh per year to every poor indian family as an unconditional cash transfer the poor will be identified among the families in the bottom of the income pyramid ah here starts our problem a lot of people call this revdies or call this freebies or call this exchequer paisa kahan se aayega see i am not somebody who supports freebies i am not somebody who says you know freebies are good or that's how we should develop our people or that's how we should alleviate poverty we have spoken about it many of my editorials i have said this is not the way to alleviate poverty no way at least is not what i think but you see there are certain things that as a state we owe it to our people two square meal is one of them 1 lakh rupees for the poorest of the poor will ensure that there is two square meals on their table and if that can be provided i think it is much 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 more noble better than spending monies for huge parliament houses huge parties uh, as far as uh, g20 and others are concerned uh, so we have done our own level of extravagant spending now if you can take a little from there and actually ensure it goes to the table of the poor i think it's worth it i think it's worth it does it damage the exchequer it does but i think it's worth it why because end of the day i will feel very happy if my tax money is used to feed a poor instead of buying an aircraft for a political leader i would be more happy you can take a call you can decide otherwise but i would be more happy so if this is implemented i think it will be a good plan the fact remains that what is as a rider that should come with this is to elevate people from that bottom pyramid as much as possible so that the number the percentage in the bottom most pyramid of our income group in this country is the least that should be the rider that should be the objective now uh, okay uh, one second i i i i will be definitely asked i am sure some people must have started writing it too as to why am i against ration being given free but why am i okay with 1 lakh rupees being paid to a family we would be i would definitely i'm sure would be asked this question so let me answer that question i will not wait for tomorrow to receive the question and answer it let me answer it right now see the concept is like this free ration is maintaining poverty it is maintaining poverty matlab bhai you keep the poor alive you ensure that the poor gets enough to feed to eat and they are alive giving them money is investing to ensure that they are alleviated so the opportunity to grow is always there when families which are in the bottom of our income pyramid when families are invested in when we invest in those families when they have money is in their hand the chances are them getting elevated most of them getting elevated there is a possibility just by feeding them there is no possibility of them getting elevated just because their stomach is full amend 10 schedule of the constitution to make defection uh, that is leaving the original party as automatic disqualification of the membership in the assembly or parliament so what they are going to do is they are going to say, they are saying that i am going to create a more robust anti defection law you see rajiv gandhi had created anti defection law kya hua kuch hua nahi hua because you know when a law is created there are four laws that ensures that you can circumvent the first law so i am not very hopeful with this i am not very hopeful for this this is these are politicians okay who are you creating laws for law makers so you create a law assuming the i am assuming that uh, therefore uh, congress uh, will be able to implement the manifesto which means congress will come into power all this i am assuming but chalo for a time being let us assume they come into power and they are going to implement this uh, manifesto the the chances are the chances are that while they 
uh, while uh, the thought is good this is non implementable according to my understanding now um, amend election laws electronic vote tally will be matched with the vvpat slip vpat slip uh, tally so yeah i mean this will give more transparency to our otherwise opaque election the way it is currently so yes it's a fantastic move it will be a good uh, suggestion it, it's a, it's a good uh, thought it's a good promise if it happens excellent I mean, the Press Council of India's Act 1978 to empower council to deal with melons of fake news and paid news. Again, ये सब ना सुनने के लिए अच्छा है. Sounds very good. I mean, laws get fake, fake news if the government wants it. If the government of the day wants it, a portal wants to do fake news. A portal wants to say whatever it wants to say. It will say who will stop it? Who will stop it? Constitutional authorities, security forces. who enforcement forces who is going to stop it all these forces report to the government whatever laws you have whatever laws that you make end of the day if nobody is there to stop you what you say will go on and that is what we see so again like i told you while it sounds very good like i told you in the earlier time this is something that uh, i am not very sure whether it is implementable set a target to doubling gdp in the next 10 years you see this Uh, 5 trillion in 5 years all this we have heard all this we have heard before okay we have heard from a different party no doubt but we have heard this before so uh, well i while i mean it sounds very nice very good all the best but whether it is implementable is something that we need to see i leave it at that replace gst laws enacted by bjp nda government with gst 2.0 so they are saying that we are going to come with a new gst law which will ensure that uh, the uh, gst charged is 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 lesser and it is more uniform in nature and uh, in some cases they will charge more gst but most of the cases they will reduce gst is what they are trying to say okay again let us wait and watch what that uh, law is going to be uh, repair relationship with maldives well these are all promises repair relationship maldives is not a unilateral thing it is a bilateral thing maldives also also has to agree you know to repair relationship with us so it's a bilateral thing so yeah i mean while they say that they are going to repair relationship let us see how maldives reacts and the fact that um, restore status quo uh, on our borders uh, with china and to ensure that the area where both armies patrolled in the past are again accessible to our soldiers ठीक है अगेन आई डोंट नो वेल वेट एंड वॉच दीज आर प्रोमिसेस दीज आर एंड एवर्स लेट एस सी वेदर दीज एंड एवर्स विल कम ट्रू और नॉट नाउ लेट मी कम टू सम अदर प्रोमिस विच दे मेड वन इज विल पास कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अमेंडमेंट टू रेज फिफ्टी परसेंट कैप ऑन रिजर्वेशन ऑफ शेड्यूल का शेड्यूल ट्राइब एंड ओबीसी यू सी लाइक आई सेड बिफोर रिजर्वेशन कैप अबाउ फिफ्टी परसेंट इज दैट really going to help is that really going to help sc st obc is that really going to uplift them is that going to do that i mean we've come all this way what is the percentage of upliftment that has happened is that really a plan or is that an appeasement uh, promise one doesn't know because with that they also talk about will conduct nationwide socio economic and caste census see i am not against socio economic and caste census it is very good what i am against is if the caste census are again is used to polarize our society again we have another one uh, party has community other party has caste is that going to be used as a polarization factor that's something that i am not sure and that's something that i am even questioning uh, increasing the cap of 50% if it is for the benefit of sc st obc most welcome 100% welcome but if it is just to appease them well then that's sad caste census socio economic census fantastic data always good data gives you better strength of management intelligence gives you market intelligence that is gives you better strength of management there is no debate on that But if that market intelligence is used to polarize the society, if that market intelligence is used against the society, that's what I fear. So this is broadly what the manifesto talks about. Uh, my point of view. Uh, please uh, give me your reactions. Uh, 
write down your reactions let me understand what you think and uh, i have done a very interesting interview today at 9 pm so if you've not seen it please go and have a look at my today's live my today's live is with mr mohan guruswami who was the advisor to the former uh, finance minister uh, bharatiya janata party finance minister mr yashwan sena and uh, he has worked very closely with mr yashwan sena he has worked very closely with mr atal bihari vajpayee i asked him as to what does he think about 10 years of uh, modi government and i got very very interesting answers so do watch that uh, episode i'm going to attach that episode also with uh, this particular uh, editorial uh, i hope i can attach to i don't know if i can but i'm sure my my team will handle it till i see you next time that's uh, tomorrow at 9 pm with another live namaskar stay ahead with our cutting edge news app instantly access the latest shorts in just 1 minute and breaking news in just 50 words download now for a smarter faster news experience 